Hey guys, it's Jack. Welcome back to the arcade. Let's get back to just another game, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, where we're about to take on the boss of the fourth dungeon. Let's see how this goes. Huh? Underwater, of course. Down we get. Of course, it's an angler flesh. Bloop, bloop, glub, glub, ugh, foo, bloop. And I did not read the rest of it. Real simple fight. All you have to do is slap the guy on his light. Watch out for any tricks you might have. He might try to, like, do something at some point that we may have to be wary of. I believe he does try to get, swim into the walls and crush you with rubble. But he better hurry up because this is not going his way. And we're done. And this is why, like, I don't want to have the red tunic with the upgraded sword because fights would be even more of a joke. Anyways. You got a heart container. Your maximum number of hearts increased, and your health has been refilled as well. Let's go get our next instrument. Uh, Link? Oh right, we have to go up. We have to go back up. It's not that way. Although, I kind of wish it was. Ooh. A shiny new harp. You got the surf harp. Your road goes into the bay. No, Mr. Owl? All right. So, I've decided that I kind of do want to go visit the windfish egg every time we get an instrument, just so that we can hear how the sound or the song comes together. Now, Really, the first time you had the opportunity to hear the song at all is immediately after the third dungeon when you get the ocarina because you can't get it until that point. Um, you need the Pegasus boots. So since we're also really close by, why not go ahead and head back up to the Tamaranch Egg and uh, listen to our new song. And we'll just do this after we complete every dungeon from now on. Because I think it'll be really cool. Alright, so it's right here. Oh no, it's actually a little bit further over. Next one. This one. Uh, let's go ahead and get our ocarina ready. Okay, I don't think the harp actually added anything. We'll have to take a look at the next instrument. Now I've got two directions I want to go. 
there is a song that we can get. It's over back near Angor's Wharf or Angor's Tunnel. We have available to us now that we can swim. And then I do want to go get that piece of heart near Mr. Wright. But I'm thinking I might take a quick detour on that. But check that out. We've got a cave over there that we can get into. Maybe. Depends on if this stayed a shortcut or not. If not, we can simply swim there. It did not. All right. We'll just swim there because we can with the power of flippers. Kick, Link, kick. So yeah, there was a cave with fish surrounding it. Let's go see what this is about. I am Manbo, child of the sunfish. Have you got an ocarina? I do. Ah ha ha. Then I can teach you my song. Bloop. You've learned Mambo's Mambo. When you get out of the water, play it. When you play my Mambo, you can warp to a warp point around the island. Try this tune in the dungeons too. And since today's a special day, I'll let you warp to Mambo's Pond too. Cha cha cha! Alright. So now that we have that, we should be able to warp to any nearby warp point. Let's give it a shot. To do this though, we do have to swap our songs in the inventory menu. It even has bubbles. And there we go. Not only that, we can warp to Monbo's Pond. Which is right outside Crazy Tracy's house. Which is very convenient for us. Uh, hello. Apparently we're being haunted now. Hello, Crazy Tracy. Hi there, big guy. I'm Crazy Tracy. I've got a little secret for sale that'll pump you up. How about it? 42 rupees for my little secret? Uh, sure. Alright, come here and I'll rub it on you. There, I've applied my own secret medicine. It will take effect when you lose all heart. Drop by again, big guy. Here's some bonus treatment. Behold, your hearts are full. Okay, but can you do anything about the pink ghost that's... You know... Now... Surrounding us? Also, now Mambo's Pond is just a regular warp point. So the real benefit of the song is that you can go to any warp point without being close to one. Which is actually new for this game. It used to not do that. It used to just take you to Monbo's Pond and also return you to the entrance of a dungeon. Uh, I'm kind of looking at something right here. I don't... Yeah, okay. I wanted to see if Monbo was an actual reference to something, but no. It's just... A weird fish for this game. Let's warp here. And we could not get away from the ghost. You might be wondering what, why the ghost is following you around. It's actually a pretty good idea to, at, at this point, to. Talk to old man Orira and see if he's got any, any information for you. Because otherwise you wouldn't really have a clue what to do with this guy. 
Bring, bring. This is Ulrira. Now you're being haunted by a ghost? Well, how about taking him where he wants to go? Bye. Click. All right. Where do you want to go? We know that our path leads to the bay. Maybe we should try taking him to the bay first. Maybe at some point he'll start talking to us. So let's go ahead and mambo our way over to Animal Village. Uh, Animal Village or Seashell Mansion. I think Animal Village is where we want to go. Oh, I actually do want to go here, regardless, because I can turn in this hibiscus and get the next part of the quest done with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. You sound like a Zora. I'm not sure what to do about that yet. I brought you a flower. Oh, you brought me a hibiscus. How sweet. Well, since you are such a gentleman, I have a request to make of you. Will you listen? Sure. I would like you to take this letter to a Mr. Wright who lives on the border of a mysterious forest, please. You traded a hibiscus for a goat's letter. Great. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and take care of this. Also, I think I see our path to that piece of heart, and I've neglected that for far too long. Sorry, Mr. Ghost, you are not nearly as important to me as upgrades are. We go up and all the way around the outside of the village, and we even have a place to bomb. Let's check this out. That's what I love about this game. There are no shortages of hidden areas to bomb. And secrets to find, even as short as the game is, they put a lot of work into the actual design of it, and I love it. All right, there is a piece of heart up there. Can we get to it is the next question. I think there's something like 30 pieces of heart in the game. I might be able to get to it. Maybe not. No, that looks like this is the way back. Uh, but we could bomb that boulder and still not be able to get it. The house. Take me. The house at the bay. Okay, so you're finally talking to me. Uh, we could bomb that boulder, but we still can't cross that gap. So we can't do anything about this for now. Too bad. At least we can go get this piece of heart. You got a piece of heart. Press plus to open the subscreen and see. How many are we up to? That's the wrong menu. Two. Okay. Alright, I'm going to play Mambo's Mambo just to keep from having to go all the way back around. I love that there are bubbles with the music notes. That's such a nice touch. There we go. Alright, so you want to go to the house by the bay. Let's see if I can remember how to get there. I would assume I'm going to have to swim. Hey, Marin. So that means probably a hole or a path I would have to swim in. Well, and we get. Hello, madame. When I was swimming in the bay, the waves took a very important necklace from around my neck. If you find it, I will let you take a scale from my tail. 
So in the original Japanese version of the Game Boy version of this game, it was not her necklace that she lost. It was her top. Yes, I, want, I know you want to go to the house at the bay. She lost her top, and that's why she always had her top half hidden carefully in the water, because she didn't want you to see her boobs. All right, I'm gonna have to make a jump here. Clearly they have taken that out because you could see that she was fully dressed. Perfect. Here, enter my house. Nostalgia unchanged. Enough cemetery. Take me to my grave. For that, you found a secret seashell. If you collect a lot of these, there could be something in it for you. Now, I've been trying not to spoil the big twist of the game. Um, in case you know, there are people who have not played it. It's almost a 30 year old game. But one of the theories behind this game is that this is actually a quest for Link to grow up. Basically, this is the transition from Link's childhood to his adolescence and then to his adulthood. And one of the proponents of that theory is the ghost. Basically, the ghost is supposed to represent Link's growth. He went to his childhood home, nothing's changed, and now he's putting it behind him. And that's kind of one of the theories that people assign to, you know, this little side quest here. Now, I'm not going to talk too much about the different theories behind the game because, as I said, it's really hard to do that without giving away the big twist, and I'm not going to do that yet. But I did want to bring that up because I think that is a rather interesting theory about it. You know, I can totally see, um, I can totally see that this ghost is Link's innocence, his childhood being put to rest. All right. Mr. Ghost, your grave is up here. Please quit moaning at me. It's really creepy. Yours is the one with the flowers. Is there anything under this grass? No. I just wanted to check. Zombos! Zombos, the most adorable zombos in any game. Jump! There we go. There's your grave. It's the one with the flowers. Also, I might want to dig here. Nope. Nothing? Okay. <laughs> Aw, we made him happy. Thank you. A jar. For you. Put something inside. Bye bye. You got a fairy bottle. It looks big enough to hold a fairy inside. Ooh, ooh. 
Hoot. It has been some time since our paths crossed, lad. You must dive into the waters of Martha Bay to enter the catfish's maw. The closer you get to the windfish, the more restless he sleeps. Carry onward. Hoot! I can't remember what the ghost gave you in the original. I honestly can't. I feel like he gave you a clue to where you found the catfish's maw's key. But that might not be a thing. Regardless, hmm. We might not actually be able to make it across here yet. I want to take a look. Uh, no, I don't think we can. I think we need one more item before we can come back for that. I love having double power just because you can take out those zoles in one hit and you don't have to worry about them gunking you up. Let's go talk to our friend Mr. Wright now that he's finally got mail. You've got mail. What's this? A letter for me? I'm so happy. And look, the letter came with a photograph. <laughs> mm. Mm. She's so beautiful. I must give you something for your trouble. <sighs> hmm. Well, it looks like all I have is this broom. How will that be? Uh, sure. You got a broom as your reward from Mr. Wright. But that photo was not of... <sighs> oh boy, letter writing is such a great hobby. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not gonna ruin your fantasy here, man. You, you do you. Also, while we're in the area, let's go check out this cave again. Actually, we should have checked this cave out some time ago. Eh, it's just a purple rupee. Okay. Nothing to get super excited about. Just money. Um, hmm. We could get that piece of heart, perhaps. Is there a way across we have access to? Let's check this out real quick, and then we'll call it an episode after that. You got a guardian acorn! Blah blah blah! Double... Yeah, double defense. Uh, if we can't get across, it's not gonna be this way. Alright, let's go ahead and use... Mambo's Mambo. Which is actually really useful now that you can use it to warp two warp points. Like I said, in the original, it was just there so you could warp to um, Mambo's Pond or to return to the beginning of a dungeon. But now that I'm looking at this, I don't think we can get that piece of heart yet. Yeah. All right. Well, in that case, I think we're going to call it an episode here. Next time, we're headed for the bay. I'll see you then. Thanks for coming out and joining me today. I always appreciate that. If you enjoyed what you saw, give me that thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, you want to see more, subscribe. If you have any comments, leave me one. Thanks for watching again. I'll see you guys Monday. Y'all have a great day. Later.